Hey everyone, welcome back on this windy, beautiful afternoon here in Northern California. Today I'm on the coast. I'm at Point Reyes. And if you look on the map, there's a big like, like hook. And I'm on that end of that hook of Point Reyes. And I was here a while ago on a motorcycle and I walked around and I wanted to come back and do a film because it, it's, well, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Um, wildlife is everywhere. Last time I saw seals all over the beach, just sunning. So, um, as a matter of fact, look, there's pelicans just flying right there. I don't know if you can see them, they're just cruising by, the pelicans. Anyway, let's uh, go check out Point Reyes at the tip, the National Seashore. Um, and this area is, just so you know, is called Chimney Rock area. Um, so um, let's go check it out and please subscribe to my channel if you guys are digging what I'm doing and thanks for coming along and let's go Sign says Elephant Seal Overlook and Historic Light Boat Station. And now if you can hear, I'm walking towards the lifeboat station. The birds. I'll be quiet for a minute. Birds are singing up quite a storm. Science says sensitive wildlife area. Man, is it a nice day out here. The weather out here right now is like, it's like 65 degrees. It's a little chilly because of the wind, but Pretty nice. This says park residents, please respect. Look at these cypress trees here. And the nice uh, purple flowers, the wild flowers. There's no water tank over there. Honestly, I don't think anybody's living in that house. That's a neat old house though, huh? Got a nice porch there. Uh, for those of you not familiar with this area, um, it gets very foggy and cold here in the summer. The fog rolls in. Fog is strange. Most people think, oh, in the summer it's sunny and warm. In the summer, the fog comes in. So um, it's certainly beautiful, but it can also be extremely cold and miserable at the same time. So check out all the pelicans over there. You see them? And someone uh, anchored a sailboat out. I'm going down this little path because I discovered this path the last time I was here. Man, those pelicans are on a uh, feeding frenzy. And there's an old uh, boat landing there. The reason I wanted to come down here is this overlooked the whole bunch of seals. 
Poison oak alert. Poison oak alert. Poison oak alert. That's poison oak. I got shorts on. I'm not seeing any um, seals yet, but we shall see. But look at the pelicans there. Just diving in, grabbing fish. And it's funny, the seagulls are... Wow. I've never seen that. That's pretty cool. They dive straight down to get the fish. Watch it. You see that? And the pelican, the, the seagulls. Wow, that's pretty neat. Look at that. Wow. That is really cool. I don't know if I can get a closer vantage point. I'm going to just stay here for a minute though. This is pretty neat. So it's funny, I'm watching the seagulls. When the, the, the pelicans dive in to grab fish, the seagulls wait for them and try to scrounge some leftovers. I told you guys this is a crazy place. Amazing, huh? Wow, it's like they I timed that perfect. They're gone now. Oh, wait. They're diving in over here, too. Wow. There must be a school of fish that they can see from above. See any harbor seals there? So last time I was here, I came and right on the beach there was like 20 seals just laying here. But th there's a lot of other areas we can take a look at. I'm still fascinated by these pelicans. All right, let's go check out another area here. There they go, dive bombing again. A <laughs> seagull landed right next to him. Pretty amazing. I've never seen anything like that before. These wildlife flowers here. I gotta walk real carefully because I don't have long pants on and there's poison oak all over the place here. All that's poison oak, that's poison oak. 
You can just brush on it and get it. Here's a bone. Anybody a uh, bone expert? Where do you think that's from? It's all garage here. And on this wall, there's some kind of plaque for this house. On June 17th, that's so funny. The date today is June, June 18th. 2021, 1579, Sir Francis Drake landed on V shores and took possession of the country, calling it Nova Albion, dedicated June 17th, 1950, Nova Brena chapters, uh, L. Clampus Vetus. There's a little something for you history buffs. You know what's interesting? That ship out there? It looks like a tourist ship. It doesn't look like a fishing ship. These cypress trees people would plant because they make good wind barriers. So they were purposely planted. Now those trees Based on the ones that I learned about in San Rafael at the Falkirk Mansion, these have to be a couple hundred years old. Some old pine trees here. That's a big one. Got all the pine cones up at the top. You see that stuff there with the purple flowers? That's ice plant. It's actually an invasive species here and um, it chokes out other native plants. I don't know if you can see it, but you see that black looking thing on the beach that looks like a rock? Well, that's a seal. I'm going to talk quietly so I don't disturb him or her. Actually, I think it's a her. I think the males are bigger. He's enjoying the sight. Here's a little sign about preserving our maritime past. The heyday of life-saving point rays is over. But in 1927, lifeboat station still stands alive with history nearly lost along, nearly lost along our coast. Our station preserves the last intact marine railway on the Pacific coast. The history of ordinary people, extraordinary circumstances, brings this place to life. The wood, the iron, the structure is nothing more than raw materials. It is through their preservation that we may breathe life into our remarkable maritime past. Point Ray's Lifeboat Station, 1927. See what we can see here. Probably not a lot, but we'll take a look. So this is built in 1927. It's almost 100 years old. And there's something in there you can see. It's like a boat. I guess they would roll it out. They would just slide in the railroad trucks all the way down to the water so they could gravity just instantly launch it.
Yeah, so you see here they had rails here. If someone had to be saved, they could launch it into the water really quickly. The birds are enjoying the hangout spot and the view. And there's our buddy, the seal. He's so oblivious to me. He doesn't care what I'm doing. There's another seal out there, a little head bobbing in the water. You see him? See, they can come here and basically not be bothered by humans. Because this is way out here. Now, over here one of these beaches is the one where sir francis drake landed on i think it's that one but they said it's closed some more pelicans it says preservation work in progress Going flying by. Certainly beautiful watching these pelicans just cruise along. Let's see if our furry friend's still here. Oh, he moved. Repositioned himself. More comfortable. All right. I woke him up. I wonder if he put sand on him to cool himself off. I didn't have a camera rolling, but I saw him. He took his flipper and he flipped sand on his back. I keep calling it a him, but I think it's a her. Hmm? 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 Just chilling. So I just talked to a guy walking by and he came down from what's called the chimney rock. And I wanted to know if it was worth the effort because um, I think I've said this in the past, but I have that plantar fasciitis condition in my foot my foot's actually killing me right now and i don't want to walk all the way up there he says it's a great view but other than that there's not a lot of nature or wildlife to look at so that will not be part of this video going to the chimney rock end but for those of you that are in hiking and in physical shape it sounds like it'd be worth the trip to um walk down it's like literally when you look at a map if you guys look at a map of point rays and the tip of the claw is where that is so it's the very very tip of point rays and i'm noticing they have these um they look like satellite things but i wonder if they're for sound for listening you know like a digital ear or something 
um, it's interesting. Now we're north of where we just were, going to see if we can find the elephant seals. Oh, elephant seal overlook trail. There are some elephant seals, but they're way in the distance. You can hear them squawking over there. Check out, you just walk along, you just see these random wildflowers like this one here. There's another uh, pelican diving for food. Pretty neat, and there's two seals over there watching. So this road here is, uh, goes down to another area. It doesn't look like they, they paved this road in a long time. The other roads I saw, you know, fresh pavement, little patches on them. Which kind of surprised me way out here. You don't do you really need to patch these roads. How many people are driving on them? Anyway, this is kind of cool. little foresty area. You can hear the birds singing. Oh, this area is nice. It's funny when you remove humans from the area, which there's not a lot of people out here, and wildlife flourishes. There's birds everywhere. Let's see if there's anything over here to check out. I don't see any seals laying around here. They, they're not too keen on laying on the rocks. There's some crab pieces over here. That's a pretty good sized claw there. You don't want to get your finger caught in that. Just gonna take a peek around the bend here, see if there's any seals. Oh, it's too rough. There might be some um, starfish. Kind of looks like a tide pool type area. This is like granite. <laughs> Easy to walk on because it's not slippery at all. So it grabs your shoes really good. Those are sea enemies. Watch them move. See they close up when you touch them. And there are a whole bunches of them here. Check this out. It's a ladybug right here. When do you ever see a ladybug on the shore of the ocean? There's an old uh, boat dock that um, when I started the video, I was up there looking down, and this is where I saw a bunch of seals last time I was here, but they're unfortunately not here today. It would have been neat to see them. And this place says no trespassing, so I'm not gonna go over there. Still looking for the elusive starfish, so I'm gonna go under the dock and see if there's any there. Not much under here, except for a big pod of barnacles. It was a real big sea anemone. Trying not to get wet here. It's weird when you touch them, they're kind of sticky, so they catch, they catch fish and stuff. There's one. That one closed way up. 
And these are barnacles. No starfish there. You can see why seals would want to hang out here. This sand is like, it's like super soft and cushiony. It kind of sinks when you walk on it. All right. Check out these little wildflowers. Like little tiny yellow pods. Super tiny. Can you see the two seals there? They're just cruising by the shore. See those seals? Might be coming to the beach to hang out, so I'm gonna wait and see. There they are. Not sure what he was doing though. Tony? You know, they look like they have kind of a fun life, as long as they don't get eaten by a great white. Doesn't look like he's going to grace him, his presence with the beach. But still, that was really great. More pelicans are coming in. Pelicans.
feeding time here, but we're cruising for fish. Looks like they found some fish. You see them diving? Look at that one right there. These pelicans are just everywhere, and seals everywhere. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the Point Reyes National Seashore Chimney Rock area. That was pretty special seeing the pelicans diving for food and cruising and the seal on the beach and all the other things we discovered. Uh, if you join my videos, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and keep coming on my journeys with me. And I'll see you again soon. All right, thanks for coming along.